Hi friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ajit Kumar and in, in this video we will talk about how we can configure a file folder backup for any virtual machine. So in previous video I talked about uh, about the VM uh, full backup. So now in, in this video I will talk about the file folder backup. So for that you just go to the vault. So this is the world in which the, the vm um, backup is configured so now i'm going to the world and first of all you go to the properties here and after that you you will get this option available recovery service agent so you need to download this okay so basically this is a co called uh, mars agent uh, installer now uh, microsoft azure site uh, recovery service agent so and parallelly you need to download the backup credential as you can see here so it will be uh, act as a credential manager so just click over uh, check, uh, check that and download that now i'm going to the folder and check the uh, as you can see here uh, the vault and agent is got downloaded now you need to log into that vm so now i'm going to log in the vm So I'm logged in my VM successfully. Now you have to copy both the file to the that VM. So now I'm placing the, both the file. So finally, uh, both the file is copied on the VM. So now I'm going to run the installer, which is basically called Microsoft Azure Recovery Service Agent. So as you can see here, here you want if you want to uh, relocate uh, means uh, choose the installation path. Another, you can browse here and choose that so here uh, the scratch folder uh, scratch file will be created okay so and now i am going to proceeding for the next so if you want to uh, to work this uh, agent uh, use any custom proxy in if you are having an environment you can choose here either you can proceed for the next so if you want to update uh, whenever microsoft will, will release you can select the first one other you can select the second option so now i'm going to put click on the install so as you can see here the required agent will be installed is already available on this vm so finally the installation is completed now after that you can proceed for the registration so here you need to click on the and here you need to browse that uh, vault which we have copied that so now i have selected that go to the next so here you can generate a passphrase okay it will uh, basically created passphrase if you want and here you need to map the location where you want to means place that passphrase in future if you uh, if it will require in the future just browse and put that so that uh, 
in that in the mention location a or text will be generate so now i'm going to please finish this so it's asking basically uh, to save this uh, password in another location so i'm clicking on no so i'm going to the finish so basically it's a started registration of this registering of this uh, vault server So as you can see here, here we uh, got the warning uh, since we have uh, placed this uh, vault in the desktop. That's why. And as you can see here, the uh, vault is uh, means the Mars agent is registered successfully with the vault credential. So now I am going to launch this and I will show you. So as you can see here, the vault is created. Okay with the passphrase and all these items so so this is a console for backup so here you can also register if you have not registered uh, earlier so here you can click on the register server and register this server as to the vault recovery service vault so now going to the scheduled backup and will schedule a backup so now i am going to create a folder name so so now i am, now I am going to schedule a backup for this drive okay so here is the benefit is uh, you can uh, select entire drive or you can uh, select uh, a specific folder or any a specific file so here you need to click on the add item and you will get all the drive available so here you need to select the drive so in my case i will i want to back off of this folder which we have created so here in the drop down you can select one by one okay so once you click and click that folder just go to click ok as you can see here the folder is now uh, selected if you want to select the file only so you can also select that so as you can see there the file name is added so in my case i want to take back off of entire folder so selecting that proceeding for the next so here you need to mention the backup or time uh, when you want to take the backup so in my case i'm selecting the 6 pm okay and another another time you can also mention here and the there is three time uh, three slot is available so if you want to uh, mention that you can choose here and if you want to take my uh, backup for daily or weekly you you can select accordingly moving to the next so here you will also get the retention policy so in the vm backup policy 
VM backup configuration, we also get that retention policy. So in, in that, in the file folder backup, we are having also the retention policy for weekly, monthly and the daily and the yearly. So in, in my case, I have already selected by default for 180. So here you, you need to unselect that other retention policy. And I'm now, now I'm going to mention here the 10 day. So after 10 day, the backup, uh, old backup will be deleted automatically. So now I'm going to next. So here you need to uh, select the option. So now I'm going to select the first option. So if you want to transfer over the network, you just click on the first one. Moving to the next. So this is the final confirmation you, you will get what are the uh, backup item will be con uh, configured okay and what will be the timing and what will be the frequency of the retention day so now i'm going to finish this so as you can see here its job is completed now i'm going to close here so after that you will get all the detail item available in the scheduled backup so here here you will get the backup item we, which we have configured and the volume and the timing and uh, along with the retention okay backup uh, from this vm and the retention day all you will uh, get here and here you will get the job so once the backup will be triggered you will get here the job if any alert or anything you will get from here so apart from that we will you can also configure the network throttling so let me show you how do we can change that so for that you just go to the action and the change properties so here you just go to the uh, throttling and enable the uh, throttling so that uh, in the op business hour if you want to uh, m minimize or maximize this uh, speed of the backup you can maximize or minimize here so in my working hours and in, in the no, no, working hour here is mansion so you here you can select the I'm going to choose I'm going to choose the 1 Mbps for working hours okay and for the non working hour I'm going to keep the same one so if you want to uh, select here you need to mention the working hour okay and the working days you need to select that okay and click OK so that it will uh, increase the bandwidth or uh, uh, so config reconfigure uh, configure the bandwidth of that uh, your now uh, backup okay so i'm now i'm going to click okay so the throttling is now configured so this is all about how do we can configure a file folder backup in uh, for any virtual machine azure virtual machine and uh, how do we can increase the throttling and we can schedule a job so this is all about so hope this video is really helpful to you so please subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much